Off the top of 10, the leader of the far right group, the Proud Boys, arrested in the district and he's being held by police. Enrique Tario is accused of burning a Black Lives Matter banner stolen from an historic black church. That was last month during protests in support of President Trump. And today, Tario was returning for the next round of protests that start tomorrow. Fox 5's Lindsay Watts is live with the latest on the arrest and how the city's preparing for these protests. Lindsay. Angie and Jim, tonight police are already blocking streets around the White House, and they are also in front of some D.C. churches. You can see there are a few officers down here uh, in front of Metropolitan AME, which is just a few blocks from the White House. And this was one of the churches that had a Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter banner stolen during the protest last month. We'll show you some video. The Proud Boys also burned a banner from another D.C. black church, Asbury United Methodist. Proud Boys leader Enrique Tario has admitted to his role in that on social media, and today police arrested him as he came into D.C. from Miami. He is charged with destruction of property, which is a misdemeanor, but police say he had two high-capacity magazines with him, so he's facing another charge for that, and he remains in jail tonight. And it fuels concerns that we have been talking about, that protesters will be armed and ready to defy D.C. law that says you can't have guns anywhere near protests or on the National Mall. We got news of Tario's arrest the same day we found out that Metropolitan AME is suing him and the Proud Boys, accusing them of terrorizing their church. The attack on the Metropolitan AME Church, one of our most storied and historic uh, houses of worship inside the nation's capital, a historic black church, is a sacred place. And the Proud Boys' decision to intentionally target this church and rip their Black Lives Matter sign down, while also targeting other houses of worship, really makes this a, a, a dangerous and, and toxic kind of attack that we need not tolerate in our democracy today. D.C. police want to make sure we don't see any kind of vandalism at these churches again. While the biggest protests are planned for Wednesday when Congress meets to certify the presidential electoral votes, there are also events happening tomorrow. The National Guard will be assisting police over the next two days. We saw police again already in position, blocking streets around the White House. Some of those streets are shut down and businesses have boarded up tonight. The city's brand new police chief, Robert Conti, says he is prepared to shut down Black Lives Matter Plaza if need be. There is a real concern about potential violence. I'm calling on the public, people who will be peacefully assembling. If you see anyone carrying a firearm or concealing a firearm, to please reach out to the Metropolitan Police Department. The overall message from D.C. leaders is stay home. The local chapter of Black Lives Matter is not planning any counter protests. Back to you.